You're live with Trendy and C, except you're not live no, at all. You're not live. But we're on YouTube, so who cares? Yeah, it's there forever. Um, thanks for joining us today. It's a, it's a regular Thursday whiskey review. We've done a couple of non-reviews for a while. So this is a, this is a good, a change of pace from our, what we've been doing. People that are videos that weren't a change of pace. Does that make any sense? That no, makes no it sense. doesn't make any sense. Okay. But hey, we're here to review some whiskey. So what do we have? Today we have a Sila from Compass Box. Compass Box uh, puts out a whole bunch of really, really, really good quality products. Blended. Um, they're, blended. All blended. they're all blends. All blends. Some with all single malt blends. Um, some with grain whiskeys. This one's a grain whiskey and this single malt. This is a malt and grain whiskey. Yeah. So stick around and find out what we got to say about this one. Like a bottle, they'll tell you why. All right, okay. Welcome back to Trinity and C. Normally, when we come back from the credits, we have a segment. Yeah. But today, we don't have a segment per se. No. Uh, but, but, what we do have is a little promotion for one of our fellow whiskey reviewers. One of our buds. One of our buds in across. The, in the industry. Yeah, and they're they're Canadian as well, from the T-Dot, as we like to say. Yeah. Uh, so it... Whoa! This, this was, I have to unbutton oh, this. Oh, sorry. So I kind of did the reveal. Whiskey in the Six. Rob, what's yeah. up, buddy? Whiskey in the Six. Got Thank you. Got a couple you. of shirts from Whiskey in the Six. You can see it? I like the uh, Canadian flag on the shoulder there. Oh, That's good. a nice little... Uh, little touch there. Touch. Thanks for the shirts, Rob. Preesh. Do people say that stuff? I don't think so. I don't okay. think anyone's We appreciate that. it. <laughs> I'm going to open this up okay. while you uh, come up with weird ac or What do you call it? A briefs? A briefs? Yeah. I don't have any more weird a briefs. Okay, so that's the box. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. Uh, this bottle goes for about $70 to $75 here in British Columbia. Uh, in the United States, about $45. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a, you can find this. So I've heard in the United States, pretty regularly and at discount, and for a discount, I mean, load up on it. It's a great aperitif style whiskey. I'm not going to agree with you on load up on okay. it. Okay. I'm going to say buy it. Yeah. Once. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, um, it's maybe not a load upper, but if you can get it for cheap, it is still uh, it, the quality... Oh. The quality is really, really good. Absolutely. In the sense that it's well made. Compass Box makes a good product. Um, this is the lower end of it, though. Yeah. We're going to be honest here. This is low-end low, low end Compass Box. Um, they call it their aperitif whiskey, yeah. which you taught me a great little way to remember. Aperitif kind of sounds like appetizer. So yeah, it's kind so of it's a like, pre-dinner thing. Yeah, it's like the one you would have before dinner to get your... Uh, the juices and digestive system flowing. I like how you taught uh, me that, but I'm not sure it's right, but no, I hope it is. <laughs> I don't know. You can call me out on that, people. It doesn't really matter. So here at Trending C, we do color, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity. We score whiskeys up to a maximum of 33 Point three three. That's mm -hmm. the highest score for us, and that is the Trinity and C scoring system. That's the Trinity and C scoring system. People think it's weird. It doesn't go up to a hundred. Well, neither does the Richter scale, and you know what that is too. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that right now, <laughs> but we're going to talk about whiskey. So anyway, um, cool thing about the Asyla, a uh, bunch of information on the box. Yeah, tons. I like that because then Great. we don't have to do any research and we get lazy as hell yeah, when we're doing our whiskey. Exactly. Review. That is one thing that is nice about Compass Box in general. They are really uh, transparent about what goes on in their whiskeys. For the most part, they will even, you know, uh, label the percentages of single malts and grain spirits. And where they came and from. And where they like, came from all and the all that kind of stuff. Whether it was uh, the barley was growing nearby or, or not, that kind of thing. So they are very, very transparent. I like that. John Glazer is the uh, whiskey maker there and they... They feel that it's artisan whiskey making. They yeah. feel that it's art and they're crafting something and that's pretty cool. So. I'd say so. I mean, so one thing to look for on a bottle is natural color and no chill filtration. This has that. 
that is why this color, I mean, if we're going to get into color right now, it is, you would mistake this for being a bottle of wine, I think. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a white wine kind of color. Yeah, white wine. Most people probably pick this, well, I guess most white wine doesn't come in a box, but if you were to just see it on the shelf like this. Depends who's buying it. Well, and I guess if it's a box. It's My fine. white wine does. <laughs> like a three liter jug of <laughs> box of wine, for sure. Anyways, so the color is nice and light straw. It is only 40%. So it's got no age statement. It's 40%, uh, but it is non-chill filtered and it is natural color. So it's kind of, it's hitting half the marks. Yeah. Um, and for the price, that's all right. There's definitely yeah. no age statement whiskeys at 40% that are a lot more expensive than this. So. And, and I got to say, some people are pretty hesitant about buying something that is, well, especially in BC, 70 to $75, buying a blended whiskey mm -hmm. for that amount of money. And I, I get it. You know, you don't know what you're going to get with a blend sometimes. If, but it's, if this behaves more like a really light single malt. And that's what I was going to say is that if you are a, an, a uh, single malt snob, or maybe you haven't diagnosed yourself as that, but you are, um, mm -hmm. and you are considering blends, this is a good transition to yeah. go from single malt to compass box to blends. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, for sure. people we should probably like, yeah, there's six itching minutes for us to actually like, like, done try it. Okay, so we, we already said color. it's a super light straw, white wine color. Yes. No. Okay, no. It's it is so mild. Yeah, it's very mild. I originally um, did some tasting notes that I lost. Yeah, um, I did too. I uh, did some notes and I lost them, uh, but I compared it against three, I think one was a cask strength and another higher end bottle. Yeah, it ends up tasting like water when it you do it. It definitely paled in comparison yeah. to those other higher, um, higher strength and higher quality bottles, but for what they claim it to be at Compass Box, mm -hmm. It is still hitting the marks. They're saying it's a mild kind of a get your night started, kind of ease into things kind of a whiskey. Some people call it an afternoon sipper. An so afternoon I don't know, delight. Like, you know, an afternoon delight. But is that something else? I think that might be something else. <laughs> uh, but this one is, again, if you judge it on its own merits, not compared to a bunch of other things, it is, the quality is there. You know what I'm smelling? <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading oh, and smelling? Hold on. Oh, it doesn't say nose on so, here. So for oh, me, I, I, I get like a light uh, kind of pear, um, crisp green apple on the nose. Um, there is, There are those vanillas there. There, You can definitely smell the maltiness. Soft fruit characters. <laughs> there are some soft fruit characters. I find it more like a, a green apple. Would you say that it's... Elegant in style and has a vanilla to it. Yeah, you know when people put uh, things like elegant on the box. I smell a, elegance as, as a note. <laughs> how do you smell elegance? Anyway, I did. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I have nothing to contribute. Okay, so okay, it is a bit grainy. It is grainy. Truly, this is my own word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. It is a bit grainy and is a bit fruity, and it has definitely you said a pear, right? Yeah, kind of a pear thing, bit fruit. It, a, bit, it, it, a bit fruit. A bit fruit forward. Um, it has, to be honest, like, I'm digging deep to find a nose on this one. It's yeah. not, it's super it, mild. not a blast in your face. So maybe for beginner scotch drinkers, it's a good place to start. It, um, it could have made our list of, yeah, beginner scotch. Beginner scotches. It's, yeah. it's in this, in that kind of ranking. It's in the right price range. Yeah. It's in the right flavor profile. And actually, the more I get into this one, the more it reminds me of, tell me I'm lying. Glen Fiddick, Glen Livet 12s. Okay. Yeah, of... yeah. with the, the nose, um, it's kind of like that pear from Glen Fiddick. Yeah. And like a little bit of the honey and the fig. But it's not heavily peated. It's not heavily sherry. It's no. just kind of that multi kind of balanced thing. This So this bottle, these ones are uh, aged in 100% American oak. Um, so it is, they are bourbon casks. They don't age it in sherry casks or anything like that. It's He's just, right. It's just he's right straight up, <laughs> kind of the old way that they used to do it before a company like Glen Morangy was one of the first companies to uh, finish their whiskeys in different casks. But this is just the old old fashioned way. Well, Let's like taste ten stuff. minutes into this. Let's video taste this. Fucking okay. tasted it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like the nose, mild, mm -hmm. easy drinking. I mean, you could. 
Some people could. You could slam that bottle back like no problem, right? It would just go down that aperitif. It, it, kind it of goes down pretty easily. It has, I noticed on the taste, it has a little bit of a, not effervescence, but kind of like how um, pineapples are have that citrus note to it. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit citrusy. Not more in pineapple way. Uh, maybe not even pineapple. Not I don't necessarily know pineapple in flavor, but the way that it has that kind of citrusy like note acid. to it. Yeah, yeah, the acid and the citrus. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, there is the honey. Um, there is the sugar from the barley. Um, there are some other grains in there. Maybe, maybe a little bit of like bourbon style corn. And that bit, it's a bit oaky, a bit of vanilla. It does have a little, it does have kind of that hint of bourbon characteristic. Yeah. But again, we don't know what the age is because there's no age statement. And if it's natural color, that's pretty mild color. Uh, so it, I don't see it being in a barrel for too, too, too long. But it doesn't taste exceptionally young. No, 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 no. It's not. Yeah. It's not too young. Like it, it's a good. Like I said, it does remind me on the flavor of of the Glen, the Glen's twelve. Yeah. So I mean, is this twelve years old? I doubt it. But um, it it's in that flavor it's, range. It's in the same kind of category. Yeah, for sure. It's not out of the ballpark. Um, really nice. Um, again, it stands up to its own merits. It. Is something that I would suggest. We don't usually review bottles that we wouldn't suggest. Mm -hmm. So we do suggest going and getting it and trying it. Um, because for some people that aren't heavily delved into the world of scotch, this is, it's perfect for that, you know? But Compass Box doesn't claim it to be more than it is either. Mm. They don't claim that this is the best whiskey they've ever done either. No, I mean... Compass Box ranges mm -hmm. to their, what's the new one called? This isn't a luxury whiskey and it's, it's not, yeah. like $300. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It just costs like one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so finish is very swift yeah. and mild and you know, it doesn't linger. It does make you want to go back for more. So yeah. it's good that way. Yeah. This uh, is one that you don't necessarily need to add any water to. Um, no water, I, I no do water. remember adding water and it just drowns it out. Mm -hmm. Um, some of these lighter spirits that you can add water to and it actually works well, kind of brings some of those fruit flavors forward and you get a little bit more out of it. This one, no, I think it drowns it a little bit. <clears throat> Let's score it up. Okay. We skipped viscosity, but viscosity, again, everything about this is light. It coats the mouth, but it, it's, it's gone, you know? Quick and gone. Okay. So, um, we gave this guy a 26 point... No, you're reading the wrong thing. Oh, sorry. We gave this guy a 25.08. That is, you know, that's a respectable score, um, especially out of 33.333. It's not going to be up there with our, like, you know, Lafroigs or anything like that. Slide the sign in. Let's but, do this. But it's, it's good. So I'm going to pull the chair out here. Okay, so uh, somewhere along the line we cut that and cut back in, but anyway, here we are. So I don't, I don't know if you're maybe blocking that. Anyway, Compass Box twenty five point zero eight. It's the lowest one we've reviewed so far this year, but um, if this was last year, this would be like in the middle somewhere. Yeah, we can't review all you know rock stars of uh, whiskeys, so it's nice to get a good balance of what you what you purchase out there. So again. Anyway. Tune in uh, next time. We're every Thursday at 6 o'clock. Check out Whiskey in the Six. Whiskey in the Six. Buy Check a shirt of theirs. Buy a shirt of ours. Yeah. Cool. So, just, cheers. Just, just buy ours. Trinian Seed.